Hello, I'm staff writer Maya McCollum sitting down with cross country head coach, Coach Rock, Kelly Rock, for this episode of Coach's Corner. Let's get right into it. How was your afternoon? Today's been a pretty crazy week with homecoming. Been exciting seeing everybody mm -hmm. dress up and um, get into the spirit of homecoming week. Yeah, as today's theme was frat boy for <laughs> sophomores. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get started with the varsity boys region. How, okay. How did how did they do? Um, the varsity boys finished first in the region, so we are region champs. Um, we had some pretty impressive finishes. Garrett Jones finished mm -hmm. second in the meet. Um, overall, the boys did you know really well with with finishing and obviously with that first place title. Mm -hmm. And what progress have you seen from the boys like from the start to finish of the season? Um, the boys have been consistent. Um, they've mm -hmm. consistently been doing workouts and putting in the time for the runs, following through on stretching and everything that is necessary in order to stay healthy. Um, and so because of that, they have started off as contenders and continue to be contenders at state meet. And then Senior Garrett Jones pretty much has like been like the best runner on the boys so far? He has, yes. Mm -hmm. And what is he like as a leader for the boys team? Um, Garrett is what I would describe as a quiet leader. He leads by example. Um, he is great at encouraging the other boys. Um, he may not be as vocal as some of the other cross country mm -hmm. runners, but he always has positive words of encouragement for people. And then which athlete of the boys team would you say has shown the most progress overall? Um, that's tough. Of the varsity boys, um, gosh, um, I guess I would, they've all shown progress in different ways. Um, mm -hmm. If we are expanding out past, there, we've got two um, athletes that um, went from running consistently not in the top 12 to now being in the top 12, um, Jack Dombeck and Cannon McFall. I would say overall they probably made the most progress this season, even though they're not in that top seven group. And that's good. How does this align with the expectations going into next season? Well, uh, we have three seniors that will be graduating, and the remaining members of our um, varsity team are going to be returning. So I think mm -hmm. it looks really great. We've got a lot of young runners this year, um, which – is evident that they are a really strong team. Our mm -hmm. JV boys and our JV girls both finished first at region as well. Mm -hmm. And then what will you do in between now and state to get the team ready? Continue with our practices. Um, we have a workout um, tomorrow. We had a workout yesterday. We've got a time trial on Saturday. We'll continue into next week with um, another workout on Tuesday. So we're just proceeding as normal. Um, mm -hmm. and putting in the workouts that we need to get us to where we're supposed to be on state day. Okay, so for both JV teams finished first, as you said. Yep. Mm -hmm. So what has, the been, what has been the JV, ugh, what have the JV been doing to like get? Same thing. JV do the same workouts as the varsity workouts. Mm -hmm. um, that may be a little bit different with the amount of um, reps that they have or the amount of mileage, but it is the same schedule as we go through with varsity. So the JV and the varsity pretty much have the same workout. Just yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And then what, is this, what does this say for the future of the Stars Mill Cross Country team? Well, I think the fact that we have such a young team this year, um, we have a lot of 10th, 9th, and even 8th graders. Mm -hmm. Um, it shows how deep we are and that we're going to continue to be contenders for state titles for years to come. Okay, so I heard an eighth grader won the girls' JV? Um, an eighth grade Macintosh girl won the JV girls' mm -hmm. race. Our, well, like stars our eighth grade Stars Mill girl came in second. Yeah. And um, super impressive times. Um, her name is Allison Moore. She is an eighth grader, as we just said. Um, if she had been running in the varsity girls race, she would have placed fifth. Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty impressive. We're excited that she'll be part of our team next year as a ninth grader. That's nice. 
And the next race is at Carrollton, correct? Yep, state meet is always at Carrollton on Saturday, November the 6th. The boys are going to run at 9.15 and, I'm sorry, the boys are going to run at 10.30 let me get this straight. <laughs> the boys run at 9.30, girls run at 10.15. Okay, and um, thank you for sitting with me today. And for a full recap of the Stars Mill Cross Country, be sure to visit theprowler.org.